Okay, so this is my 30 gallon reef setup. Um, it is essentially two years old, but a little over a month ago I, I switched out 60% of the water. Um, I used to have gravel in here. It looked, it looked more like a freshwater tank and I didn't like the look, so uh, we just bought sand, not live sand, and a lot of this, the white rock you see is <clears throat> dead live rock. I guess you could call it, um, was at the, one of the local fish stores. Some guy had broken down an old tank, and um, we bought a bunch of it, um, really cheap. Uh, just a high point. It looks like an old coral there that dried on it, so it, it looked pretty neat. But um, this is the setup. Uh, we have two damsels that were in the original tank, two years old. Um, a six-line wrasse, because we do have um, bristle worms, and... The guy must be doing his job because there's not so much anymore. Um, and then a little striped damsel. Two turbo snails. One other little snail. Uh, we got the Condylactus anemone. Um, this live rock that I bought right from the fish store with uh, all the star polyps on it. Two little, I believe they're recordia mushrooms. Uh, frags. A, zo a zoa, or zoo. And then this little live rock with about six mushrooms on it. Um, the reason for the video is not for the tank. Um, everything on here except for the tank itself is man-made. My stand, my canopy. Um, I have two T5 Coral Lifes. Um, one 10,000K and one 420 Actinic. And then I also have a Zoomed 5050-6500K and Actinic. Um, and then I have a tiny little LED Marine Land like nine inches long strip light that uh, I just use for for moonlight um, but <clears throat> I've been looking for the last two weeks I've been kind of obsessed on a protein skimmer um, a do-it-yourself instructional I found a, a couple out there um, and I've made several attempts at this hopefully now I have it right but uh, if I don't then I won't end up posting this but if I do then it'll be out there for everyone to see um, what I have is, uh, as the chamber, is a T12 uh, fluorescent tube cover uh, that I got at Menards for $2.38. I think it came in a four foot length. Um, it comes with the two little black caps, one for each end. Um, in, those, uh, in those black caps at the bottom, there's a hole that runs through that the, the fluorescent pins would, would normally go through to go into the fixture. Um, so I kept that on there as a, as a water out. Initially I didn't have any water going in, um, but now I do. Um, and, uh, I've read that that's the trick to get it to actually pull out the, the skimmate. Um, but what I have is the Oceanic Air Tube, I'm sorry, Oceanic Limewood Air Stone that I got at Petco for $4.50. Um, actually this is the second one because, uh, uh, our Boston Terrier chew on, chewed up the first one while I was making it, so I had to go back and get another one. Um, but I have the the airline tube going out through that black cap at the bottom, um, out through the top, then back to the, the air pump. I drilled holes at the bottom all the way around, uh, but I think I might cover those up because there are some air bubbles going out, which the fish are seeming to like, but um, I may cover those up. Um, I have the tube the airline tube affixed to the chamber with cable ties um, and also suction cups on the, the airline tube to hold it in place. Um, the suction cups I had, I have a whole bunch laying around from Christmas tree ornaments I got at Home Depot years ago. Um, very cheap. Um, <clears throat> for water in, I had this power head running just blowing onto my zoo because it seemed to like it. Um, but what I did now is I Went to Fleet Farm for a 19 cents. I bought one foot length of 7 16 clear tubing, 7 16 outer diameter tubing. I cut a little piece off and shoved it in the end right there. Um, I also bought this T, this gray T, from Fleet Farm for like 59 cents. Uh, and a tiny little piece of the tubing went from one out into the top of the protein skimmer the other one the rest of the tubing I'm using for now as the out to the tank but I might just take that tubing off 
Uh, the water, well, I think you can see it, is creating a good turbulence in the, the chamber, um, swirling the water down. And supposedly, this is how it's supposed to go. That's what I've been reading is you usually have the water going to the top, and the dirty water will, or I'm sorry, the clean water will come out the bottom. Um, but what I used at the top was was real fun is two white PVC elbows. Um, you can't really see it. One that comes up from the top, then angled over to bring it back up. Uh, the reason is my canopy is in the way, so I had to angle it up. Hopefully this just doesn't cause a problem. Um, I then have it coming up to a, a screw-in piece, sorry I don't know the exact name, screw-in piece of PVC that screws into that elbow right here. Um, I'm not the best at silicone and I didn't want to glue it just in case I got to take it apart. So for now it has electrical tape to, to keep the water seal. Although there wasn't much of a leak. Um, at the top of that, then I believe it's like a male adapter that just pops into this piece. Um, going up is another piece of that gray PVC, but not a, not a T. It's just a straight piece where the smaller end goes into this male adapter. The bigger end through this little fruit cup. Well, it's a Rubbermaid fruit cup. Um, the reason I, I don't have this taped is that's how I can take the cup off to clean out the waste um, without having to take the whole thing off. Uh, I think that's it as far as the the, the assembly or the, the pieces. Um, don't quote me, but I think those elbows are three quarter inch. Um, basically, you just kind of have to play with whatever you're using to fit. But I think those are three quarter inch that fit perfectly into that tube. And then I put duct tape, or I'm sorry, electrical tape around the top so there's no leak which does not touch the tank water um, which I heard is not the best thing to do and the male adapter which is whatever fits into that the other adapter was whatever fits into that I'm sorry I don't know the exact sizes but um, you know I spent probably thirteen dollars total and I've got a lot of extra pieces because I wasn't really sure on how this was gonna work while I was in the store, so I bought a few extra different size options. So, um, But as you can see, it's it's foaming up. Um, I know I need to be patient and wait to see if there um, are any, or it's got to create a dry foam before it starts creating skimming. But um, the reason I had to start pumping water in is because, um, into the, the chamber is because I was getting a lot of water into this cup. That's all it was doing, so. I read that I, because you're not getting water flow in the chamber, that it will just keep filtering the same water, basically. So, um, if this works, I will post. If it doesn't, you won't ever see this. Uh, but I'm hoping it works for 13 bucks or so. Um, you know, not cutting the power head. It, it'll be worth it if it works. Hope it works for you if you try.